Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FUBO. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, a big pullback on this one today, and certainly updates need to be done. First thing I'm going to do is actually a little house cleaning, just get rid of these lines up here. Sure, those levels pertain. They're just not really relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible going forward. The first update, though, that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So 47.50 is now going to be that newest area of resistance, meaning if the price does eventually work its way sideways and then start to work its way back upwards. The big question mark in my mind is not necessarily can the price get back up to that area, but more importantly, can the price actually break above it and stay up above it? So you're going to want to keep a close eye on that with any sort of attempted bounces back to the upside. So again, 47.50 now going to be public enemy number one from the resistance side of things. But what about areas of support, which I would argue are probably more significant right now, given that you know there seems to be quite a bit of downwards pressure on this one. But the next level of support to keep a close eye on, I'm going to be down there at $38.50, and then if $38.50 cannot quite hold up, next key area of overarching support you'd want to keep an eye on is that purple line, or excuse me, the pink line down there, the 200 period moving average currently valid at the $35 mark. So $38.50 and then $35, next couple of levels of support moving forward. However, to build up a little bit more context, let me squeeze down the chart. You can see that even with the pullback overall, this is still in an overall uptrend. I mean, there have been some bigger pullbacks before, so we'll see if this is just another pullback. So I don't want to make it seem like it's the end of the world and the chart just totally crashed today. No, within the bigger picture, the trend is still there. Uh, so keep that in mind, but it'll be interesting to see how this one closes out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.